Nine seconds to play. Got to be just a super win for the fans in Toronto. They've been waiting a long time. And you know the other thing? Every team in the league likes to compare themselves to the Eskimos. No matter who you beat, they say, but how'd you do against Edmonton? That's well, right. Toronto can say they did it. They turned around from that uh, opening game up there with the Eskimos when they knocked them around, and they turned the tables and knocked the Eskimos around. Great effort. You know, in that press conference yesterday with uh, Coach Obilovich, with Bob Obilovich, I was looking at him there talking, and he was he was actually so confident in his air that I thought, boy, he must know something that somebody else doesn't know because those Edmonton Eskimos are going to come in here and jump all over those poor Argos. But he did know something. He's got a tough bunch of guys, and they're not going to back off one inch from anybody. I'll tell you one thing. It's going to make them awful tough the rest of the year because they're going to get a split with the Eskimos, and they're going to get so much confidence from this game oh, that they're true. liable to be really tough the rest of the year. Well, the Argos on the verge of their third victory of this season. They have more points than any other team in Canadian football with their tie. Warren Moon long for Waddell Smith. Smith can't come down with it. And no flags come down. Good defense. Just a jump ball. They send three receivers downfield and just throw it. Just throwing it down the field. We got a flag on the field down there. Let's see what happens. That's back at the line of scrimmage, not in the area of the intended Receiver, Blair Shallow. Roughing against Toronto, probably roughing the quarterback. That time the Eskimos just sent three down the field, throw it up, hope they get a tip or anything. Obilovich is telling them, just get back there and stay there. One second, don't worry about it, get back. Well, Obilovich is not too worried about what they do now. No, they can't score 10 in one second. Moon with time to throw, but time running out on the scoreboard. That should be it. <laughs> well, folks, who would have thunk it? The Argonauts. Very convincing in an eight-point victory over the Edmonton Eskimos at c &E Stadium tonight. And the place is going wild. Look at Bob Obilovich. Well, Bobo has got to feel great Bilovich about that. Got to be happy. Got to be a very excited man. Crowd goes crazy down here. That I, last play was just one of those where you put three receivers out there, throw the ball up in the air, and hope for a deflection or hope for interference, and neither one of them happened. Well, attitude is the thing that Obilovich told us yesterday was the biggest improvement that he'd seen on his Toronto Argonauts. And attitude, I think, showed in the Toronto performance all evening long. The Argos came out with a very spirited show all night long, and they come on to their third victory of the season. Bob Obilovich is on the sidelines. We're trying to get down to have a quick word with him, and I don't know if in that mob scene we'll be able to find him. Anyway, the Argonauts have now got seven points. That's the most of any team in Canadian football right now. Of course, Notwithstanding what happens tomorrow afternoon, BC and Winnipeg and Winnipeg, and that should be a pretty good game. All right, Bob Obilovich on the sidelines. Can you read us up here? Yeah, I can hear you. It's John Wells with Ron Lancaster and Leo Cahill. First of all, our congratulations. You have to be a very happy guy. Well, just about as happy as all these people out here in this field, uh, John. OB, I'll tell you one thing. I've seen these fans be happy, but it's been a long time ago. They're really up tonight for it. You guys deserve it. I thought your special teams were absolutely fantastic. Your defense was fantastic. You beat them in every stage of the ball game. I thought it was just great. Well, they made a heck of a comeback. Uh, Levin Seller made a great catch to keep them in the ball game, and uh, they're they're a great football team with a lot of pride. And uh, I'm just proud that our young football team showed some pride out here tonight too. Thanks very much again, Bob. Congratulations. You did have an outstanding evening, your football club. Thanks hey, great Toronto, game. Great Toronto game. Argonauts, 30 to 22 victors over the Edmonds and Eskimos at Exhibition Stadium. And the pandemonium continues. We'll be back in a moment.